Concerns surround the animal shelter in Big Springs, so residents are taking matters in their own hands. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 24 News. First at 9, I'm Monica Quintero. Big Spring residents are working hard to raise money for a new and improved animal shelter. Fox 24's Jeon Kim had a chance to speak to the head organizer. She joins us now live to tell us more about the community's efforts. Jeon? Good evening, Monica. Well, I'm told a proposal to revamp the current facilities has already been presented to City Council. The lack of funding forced residents to look for alternative ways in solving the ongoing crisis. The need is still here. The only way for us to address it is by doing it personally through donations from the taxpayers. And so far, they've really been good about it. Almost every day, the Big Spring City Pound needs to make room for four to five new animals. Come Thanksgiving and Easter, that number triples. The voiceless animals in this community need to have somebody that stands up for them. Volunteers are needed. Fosters are needed. We're attempting to become a no-kill shelter, but it is horrendous. Emerson says the current facilities need to improve to better cater towards the well-being and comfort of the animals. It needs a new roof. It needs new heating and air conditioning. The plumbing is, is bad, but the concrete and the walls and the, and the bones of the building are good. Leading like-minded residents to come up with an idea. <laughs> fundraising for a new shelter and renovating it themselves. We're up over $5,000. The goal's $20,000. What we're going to need are volunteers out here to do a big cleanup on it, and then we'll, again, need volunteers when we go to build it back. Once completed, the old building will add 25 to 30 additional kennel spaces. It will be used for intake while the new building is used for adoption. We decided to do this to try and take care of it and not put it on the taxpayer. Now, for more information on how to donate, make sure to check out tonight's story on yourbasin.com. Live in studio, I'm Jian Kim, Fox 24 News.